Jason Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Monday morning, back to work. Do that pre-trip, especially when you come back from the weekends. Wheelhouse inbound MP Cardillo. Truck 270 for Pipes in. Oh, thank you. on this scale, I tell you, you really got to be paying attention. You got to have eyes in all directions. Hour, hour and 10 minutes back. Have to pick the tires. Just glance at everything. Just something I do. I'd rather be here with a flat tire than on the side of the road somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I just dumped my load of sand. And I'm gonna get a load of mix. last night before I left. Get the toolbox. Deck plate. Rear wheels. February. I always polish. I polish in February always. I just usually wait for the warm day, but now every day's warm. Almost. I'm gonna go get another load of sand. Make sure she's clean.
good. Hey. What's going on? Long shot. Thirty-one degrees and ice. The ice storm last night. It's starting to warm up, but everything's wet, frozen, and salty. It's gonna be salty all the way out. Right? That's right. That's right. Time to get these trucks dirty, I guess. And it's gonna hit 48. on top of my fresh polishing job. We're gonna get the before shot. Prove that it was dirty. It's dirty. The time is now 4.05 p.m. I've got one hour to get this washed and parked pick up my youngest kid. So enough of the videos, let's get to work. Gonna be an old fashioned hand wash. Yeah, shit. I'm 
it's quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night, yeah? Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. Hour and ten. It's not including drying it. I still got to dry it. Trailer dried itself though. Just got to dry the wheels on the trailer, and that's good to go. Tractor looks pretty good. Yeah. Now we can sleep tonight. Hopefully, we have dry roads tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have said that. I think it's looking good. All right, gotta get to work. Not that anybody's counting. I don't even know why I announced it. Hour and 25 minutes. Wash dry. Windows cleaned. Ready for another day. Now, is it possible that I missed a few spots? No. But, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, probably not. Um, I didn't go crazy on the engine every truck wash. Just, you know, let secrets be secrets. Be known, you know. I give it a good steaming. Springs, frame. Area, you know. I might wash the engine a couple times a month, that's all. Alright, now I'm going to get out of here. Don't leave your lights on. Put the lights on for added effect. I love it. I don't know. It's just me. Where is it? Look at this thing. Wow. That's a truck. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? I gotta get this on video. Oh, you're good. We don't get nice trucks like this up here too often. <laughs> wow. What year is that? It's an 03. 03, huh? Man, those are Lenita rides, dude. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's awesome. Hodge built. Look how low that thing is. Open the door? Yeah, that's fine. Wow. That's awesome. It even smells good. <laughs> Man. How long have you been driving for these guys? Uh, about six months. Yeah? Six, seven months, yeah. Good people to work for? Oh, very good people yeah. to work for. Yeah. Run all over the country? Yep, yep. I've been to California twice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all over. I just haven't hit uh, the Northwest yet. No um, kidding. Can't wait to do that. Yeah. You guys carry are you guys carry chains for the Northwest? Uh, yep, we carry them. I have them in the step. Um, but normally, you know, once it snows, it's time to pull the brakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Well, all right. I'll let you get back to work. All right, you know, I appreciate it. All right. The size of those things. Those wheels are small, huh? Those wheels are tiny. Yeah, they are. They're 17, and where do you live? Uh, I live in Reading. Reading, uh, PA. Reading, PA. Yep. Oh yeah. So, not too far from our shop. Thirty minutes. What's your name, anyways? Oh, uh, my name's Austin. Austin, what's up, man? <laughs> nice to meet you. You know, you see, your company. They won't mind me talking to you. Don't worry. No, no, no. <laughs> He's not screwing around. He's working, folks. Oh yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> Only one of us is screwing around right now. It should be working. <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> my, comp my company don't mind either. No. 
You getting ready to pull out? Yep, I'm all ready now. All right, hey, nice meeting you, bro. All right, nice meeting you. All right. Take care. You too. Wow. That's a truck. I literally been driving by. Ah, pull over. next week we're slammed we're dumping loads at five o'clock at night still load number six it's been raining it's been spitting we got we got salt clouds like it's all salty but it hasn't come down hard yet boy would i love to get back without some freaking poor pores supposed to rain till midnight tonight and then dry tomorrow and sunny so I don't know I'm, I'm, the roads are a little wet I've been driving in the dry spots best I can back doors full of salt now it is what it is and get out of here two more work days Friday and Monday then I'm out of here shoot this view from the driver's perspective of course the roads are wet 36 degrees this cord is all caught twisted 36 degrees that's gonna hit 60 degrees today are you filming? I am oh, okay. quiet on the set why what's up you can come over See, Andrew, before you go on vacation, yes, your fluid should always be topped off. That's right. But before in, you go on in vacation, more ways than one. but before you go on vacation, you double make sure they're topped off. Because when your truck goes in the shop, they ain't got luck. Well, the dragon's truck was low on oil. So you never want that to happen. No. Come on. Oh, boy. We got the whole crew here today. I'm telling the people at home, Teddy, you always. Make sure your fluids are topped off. That's a nice uh, setup right there. But before you go on vacation, you Love. double make sure they're like topped off. Baby holder, you know? Because you don't know never what, you don't know who's gonna drive the truck. No. Because I when will you, be driving the truck. No, nobody's gonna be driving my I truck. I will be driving If anybody truck. drives my truck when I'm on vacation, by the way, Teddy, I don't wanna know about it when I'm gone. I will drive that's right. See? And they can put anybody in that truck. See, my level you is... You can go in that truck. I'll drive this truck. The three-quarter level, and they'll stick. That's good. Huh? I like the three-quarter level. What about you, Teddy? I go about halfway. Halfway. Between halfway to three-quarter. Exactly. Some people think it's got to be full. No, no. No. I wanted to add a little bit of oil to it today before I go on vacation, and it gives me some clean oil for my Jake break. Well... But I'm not going to. No, exactly. no. They're going to they're gonna work on it while you're away. Yeah, they're gonna do an oil change, so I don't want to waste any oil. Yeah. Right. All right. Right. All right. Very let's well. get it started. All right. All right. Let's go. Hey, uh, uh, never mind. Uh, all right. Uh, let's okay, go. Uh, oh, Tell us gonna, afterwards, you Andrew. I 
have the Boston Truckers rainy day song. <laughs> One of the songs is uh, It Don't Mean Nothing by Richard Marks. Anybody remember that song? The video was pretty good back in the 90s about the uh, seedy underbelly of Los Angeles. I started thinking about Los Angeles and I'm listening to the news about this earthquake in Turkey and Syria. It's terrible. 23,000 people so far died. And a lot of miracles too though. One woman gave birth under the, rep, under the rubble. She died. Her baby was there for 10 hours. Temperatures were in the 20s that night, and the baby survived. Some crazy stuff going on there. Kind of heading towards that direction of my uh, vacation next week. In that, that region, kind of. Not too far from that part of the world. And I started thinking, I always forget. I know I've mentioned it here before, but I guess I'm, I guess I could call myself an earthquake survivor. Kind of. I mean, you know, one of my best friends, Chef Michael B. Jacobs. Why did I say his whole name? You can look him up. He's a good friend of mine. On Instagram, he's at ChefMPJ. Good dude. From Boston. Lived all over the world. During the Northridge earthquake, at the time, he was living in North Hollywood. It was like 93, 94. The earthquake was in 94. And uh, once in a while, I get spend some time and go visit Mike. Parked the truck over at Vaughn's Warehouse uh, in Santa Fe Springs, California. Mike would pick me up. And uh, a little tiny apartment. Tiny, tiny apartment. And then when he'd go to work, I'd take his car, which was a Ford Probe. Look up Ford Probe. And I'd drive around Hollywood. Santa Monica Boulevard, walk around that area. It's pretty seedy. That's where that's what the song reminded me of. Walking to the Hollywood Hills. You know, I just drive around sunny California, go over to Rodeo Drive, walk around. It didn't belong there. <laughs> but so the earthquake happens in '94. I'm uh, sleeping outside of. Ralph's Grocery, Ralph's Grocers, it's a big, a, a big, big, big grocery chain in California, Ralph's. I was sleeping outside of Ralph's at a 6.30 appointment. Around 4.30 in the morning, I woke to feeling like somebody was walking inside my trailer. So I got outside, I looked around, the trailer was still sealed and locked back to bed. Two hours later, I checked in with the guard shack. And I was waiting to back into a loading dock when the earthquake started. I can't remember exactly what time the earthquake started. It was somewhere between 6.30 and 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.15. I'm sure if you Google it, it'll tell you. Not that it matters. Waiting to back into a loading dock. And if you... I ever took a snow globe, but if you shook it up, everybody's done that, right? That's what it felt like. It felt like I was inside a snow globe and somebody was shaking it. Everything was shaking. And it was like it was like a rolling feeling. It was just the weirdest feeling. And I had never been in an earthquake before. And people were running for their lives. And I was in the on the warehouse grounds, you could hear shells collapsing product just smashing to the ground from, you know, uh, 100 feet up in the air. All I could think to do is I get on the CB radio <laughs> and I go, oh yes, we're having an earthquake. Of course I didn't say yes. No response for some reason either. And then after
after it was all said and done, no cell phones back then, so got to a, a pay phone at the site, tried calling home. All the phone lines in the area were down. Just wanted to let my family know I was okay. And my mother and father, you know, was, I was young back then. And uh, in the end, I probably left there about four hours after the earthquake. Dropped the trailer at Ralph's, was loaded. They had me back into a loading dock with the doors closed up against the dock. Dropped the trailer and I was gonna have to leave and wait for them to make another appointment. They were gonna have to clean up the warehouse. So I bobtailed out of there. Where am I gonna go? Well, my friend Mike lives in North Hollywood, so I'm, I'm heading to Mike's. That's before cell phone, so I can't just call Mike and see if he's okay. You know, then I'm finding out that the highways have been, some of the highways have collapsed in the area that I'm in. And Mickey Mouse my way to North Hollywood. Come to find out, Mike had flown back to Boston to visit his mom a couple of days earlier. So now where am I gonna go? Well, where do all truckers go when they're in the LA area back in the day? Gotta wait. Yeah, Bob Hill and TA in Ontario. It's like 60, 70 miles. But highways were closed, a lot of back roads. 60, 70 miles. I think it took me three hours to get there. Then I hang out at the TA in Ontario and had to suffer through those aftershocks. I think that was worse than the initial earthquake. There were aftershocks for days. And it was more like this rolling feeling, and it was really messes up, messes your head up. You get in something like that, it messes your head. And it's so weird. <laughs> I used to be able, I used to go on like roller coasters and you know the fast amusement park rides. I stopped going on them after that. I remember me and my wife were in Vegas in '99, the first year we met, and I got, uh, I got like nauseous on the, uh, in Vegas they have the, uh, I forget what you call it, it's the tallest building, it's like a, a point, there's a roller coaster on top, it's ridiculous, and I went on there and I got really nauseous and sick, and uh, yeah, I couldn't go, I, can't, I couldn't go on rides anymore, and I don't go on rides anymore, it's so weird, it messed my head up, I get a little dizzy there, so. That's my story. That's my story for today. Now let's get back to the, uh, the regular scheduled program of just trucking. 60 degrees out, sun's coming out. I'm gonna roll up the sleeves, roll down the windows, and work on that driver's stand. Come on. Nice and early day today. And he's filling up with death, whatever that is. I love saying that. I really don't know what deaf is. I've never used it. Deaf. What'd you say? We're gonna do a swap. Teddy's gotta grease his trailer. I said, Teddy, why don't you grease my trailer and I'll wash your truck the way I wash a truck. He just, Teddy just rinses. He's uh, at that age where he gets a little too sore to be brushing and mop it. I said, Teddy, I'll wash your truck the way I wash. You grease my trailer. Because he really, he loves greasing. That, that's his nickname, the Grease Man. So that's what we're going to do here. And it's only 3 o'clock, a nice early day. We were so busy yesterday and up till this morning, we were all were working tomorrow on Saturday. And then it slowed right down today. We got the yard emptied out and, um, what am I doing? I'm trying to make this corner here. That's what I'm doing. Here's the before shot. It's wicked windy out. I think Teddy might have got the better deal on this end. I have to take my hat off. It's going to blow away. Again. Alright, we 
got his trailer looking a lot better. Cleaned up the frame, put some white acid on it, get all the tarnish off of it. It's not perfect. Definitely gonna look better going down the road for him. They all look good wet. All right. Friday afternoon, we're getting out of here, gonna enjoy the weekend. Monday though. Now Monday, I have a dilemma. Do I bother recording anything on Monday? Because I'm going on vacation Tuesday, so. I don't know, we'll see. I say no. <laughs> so if uh, if I don't record on Monday, and this is the last my last goodbye, peace and grace, hit that subscribe button, shares, likes, love the comments try to comment back to as many as possible and uh, catch me next week in a land far far away from here and it's not Donner Pass see ya